Nitro Pack Safe Mode lets you experiment with features without affecting your visitor's experience. Here's how it works. When you turn it on, the Safe Mode disables Nitro Pack for your website. While this mode is active, you can access the test or optimized version of any page by adding question mark test nitro equals one to its URL like this. These URLs are separate and isolated from your site's regular URLs. No one accesses them unless they manually enter the test parameter. At the same time, your website's visitors continue to land on the regular URLs. Put simply, while the safe mode is active, your website is up and running as if Nitro Pack is disabled. And you can access the test version of any page by adding question mark test Nitro equals one to its URL. Any changes you make while in safe mode affect only the test pages. This lets you experiment with settings without affecting the visitor's experience. Just remember that after disabling this mode, all changes will be transferred to your live website. If you don't want that, make sure to reverse any changes you made while in safe mode before turning it off. To make this a bit clearer, let's look at an example. Say you want to add some custom CSS to your site. You can use the safe mode to see how the custom CSS would look before publishing it for your visitors to see. Start by enabling the safe mode. After that, write down your custom CSS and save the settings. The results from this change will take place only on the test URLs. You can then check how these test pages look and run them through PageSpeed Insights, GT Metrics, or any other site speed tool. This way, you know what to expect in terms of speed and appearance. When you're done testing, you can publish the custom CSS on your live website by 1. Turning off the safe mode, 2. Saving the settings, 3. Purging the website's cache from the dashboard. On the other hand, if you don't want to keep the change on your website, 1. Delete the custom CSS, 2. Disable the safe mode, 3. Save your settings. You can follow this same process with other features you'd like to test. Also, if you don't like how something looks after our optimizations, it's better to enable the safe mode as opposed to disabling NitroPack entirely. This allows our support team to debug and fix the issue while your website is running. And that's about it when it comes to the safe mode. To learn more about NitroPack, visit our help desk at support.nitropack.io.